All right, so since I started streaming Sea of Thieves, I've been getting a ton of messages about what's the best settings to use, what's the best audio settings, what's the best visual settings, sensitivity, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to cut out all the bullshit for you and make it quick and easy and show you what I use. All right, jumping right into it. You need key binds for all of your items. You can pick and choose whatever the fuck you want. I personally have my bucket on B, my wood on five, and I'm pretty sure the rest is the exact same. For my mouse sensitivity, I'm on 400 DPI, 2.6 in game, and all of these are turned up to max. As far as controller settings, if you really want, I can make a video on that another time. Moving on to gameplay, reduce hold to interact, turn this setting on. It's going to allow you to revive teammates, reload cannons and plank wood just by pressing a button. You can let go, you can move around, and you can do a bunch of cool little tricks with the cannon too, which I can get into in another video. I also like to disable ship trinket interactions so I don't accidentally interact with something in the middle of combat. Just makes it easier, better safe than sorry. I almost forgot about this one. Server authoritative hit markers. They recently added this to the game. Hit reg is a huge issue. Huge problem in Sea of Thieves. Turn this on if you want to see if you're hit regging or not. I personally like to have this off because I just want to see if I'm hitting them. I don't really care if it's hit reg or not. And then I make sure to disable all the banners and the milestone notifications, including the invite notifications, just so nothing pops up on my screen and everything's visible while I'm cannoning or in mid-combat. Alright, time for more important shit, the video settings. Since the update, I'm running on Direct 11 with my resolution on 900p. You should be perfectly fine on 1080p and Direct 12. This is just my PC and I like to run lower settings so I get more FPS. You should run display mode on full screen, VSync off. I like to play with a little bit of brightness, so when it's nighttime I can still see without having to adjust anything. I lock my FPS at 144. This is because the game actually has issues if you're running above 144 FPS. Uh, you'll have some performance issues like going around wheel and stuff like that. I leave performance counters on, that's just preference. Resolution should be on 100 double buffering and that's basically it all right now for graphics settings your fov should be maxed out this helps you see more there's no reason why you should have this lower unless you want to hurt yourself and all my settings are turned down to cursed except for model detail this helps with visibility in water and it helps for just seeing players in general, these are the best PvP settings to use. You should disable blur, disable your screen shake, and disabling rats is preference, it doesn't really matter, it just shows when you're hitting mid. Color blindness filters, I use green and red 1.7 with 0 0.7, this is also just preference. You can copy these, mess around, and see what you like. Now for audio settings, your master volume can be at whatever you want, however your music volume, if you play hourglass, turn this to zero. You do not want to hear the hourglass music playing in the background. Yeah. Oh my god, he didn't even climb one. Oh, yeah. they all turn. I'm gonna shoot you here. Yeah, you guys always great. There we go. I triple his wheel. You can hear borders better. You can hear whatever is going on better. Just turn this down. SFX should be maxed out. This is so you can hear the grabbing ladder sound effect much clearer, much louder. Maximize this out. I've experimented with spatial sound. To be honest, there's not much of a difference. You can experiment yourself and give it a try. There's a few other settings such as wheel sound volume, additional wheel turning sounds. I don't use these. You can try and experiment with them. I don't think it helps. However, musical hit notification volume, you want to turn this up so you can hear when you're hitting the opponent's ship. That's it for the video. I hope these settings help you out. Keep in mind these settings could change in the future. They could add new things or mess with a few things. So uh, I will always be responding to comments. Feel free to ask any questions. And uh, yeah, I could be wrong with a couple settings. If I am, let me know. Just uh, type in the comments and we'll figure it out. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Appreciate the love. See you all. Enjoy the game. And I forgot to mention I'm live on Twitch, YouTube, and Kick almost every day streaming Sea of Thieves or any other game. So drop by and say hello. See you.